wa Kenya wanaumia haki Mungu wangu mbona sisi kama wa Kenya Mungu tulikosea wapi Mimi kama Brenda Kangai niko hapa katika jiji la Nairobi leo nikiomboleza na zile familia ambazo walipoteza wapendwa wao wakipigania haki na demokrasia taifa la Kenya na mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba uh, sisi kama vijana wa Kenya tuliandamana kwa sababu maisha na uchumi ya Kenya iko pale vibaya na tukasema ya kwamba tutaenda pale kwa street kupigania haki zetu sisi tulipoenda pale kwa street tulitegemea polisi watulinde wasitulinde lakini polisi walienda kuabudu kwa wao wakafanya kitu inaitwa shoot to kill ambayo iko prohibited katika katiba kwa sababu polisi watu wanapoandamana polisi anapaswa tulinde anapaswa tu safeguard anapaswa atupe protection lakini polisi alienda kaabudu watu wao mimi nataka kukwambia William Samoei Ruto sisi kama wananchi wa chini wenye tumeumia na utumi sisi tumeandamana kwa sababu gharama ya maisha iko juu na usipo reduce the, the price of the basic commodity bado tutarudi kwa barabara ile mazungumzo ambayo tunataka saa hii ni mazungumzo ya kurudisha gharama ya maisha ikuwe chini mkenya wa kawaida ambaye anaumia aweze kupata haki yake so mi nasema kama sisi hatutakuwa represented sisi tutaendelea kuandamana kama sisi hatutapata representation sisi tutaendelea kuandamana na ndipo sana sema ya kwamba leo mimi kama Brenda Kangai nimejiunga na ile familia za watu ambao wamepoteza maisha yao i am saying to my brothers and sisters may you are so rest in peace you never deserved the government deserved to protect your life but they never did so kwa sababu wale mpisi tuko nao parliament wao wako pale kwa nia ya tumbo zao wajenda kutrepresent lakini mimi nataka kuambia vijana iwapo mnataka uongozi ubadilike mtachange kutoka MCA kwenda president last hivyo tutaendelea kuumia na mimi nataka kuambia vijana wa Kenya tuungane bila ukabila bila kuangalia kabila yoyote kabila yetu ni shida zetu kabila yetu ni lack of employment kabila yetu ni high cost of living tusiangalie mahali mtu ametoka sisi tuende tukachague viongozi ambao wako na nia nzuri katika itafifa la Kenya Tusiende kuangalia wale viongozi ambao wanaenda kuangalia mifuko yao wale viongozi ambao wanaenda kuegemea upande wenye parliament na president atakuwa twende tukachagua wale viongozi watajua haki zetu kama wa Kenya ni nini so i am saying this as a youth when it comes to the next election let us elect the leaders that are going to represent us in parliament let us elect the leaders that are going to feel the pinch of a common citizen because we the common citizen we have no representation that the reason why we are going to the street and when we go to the street we are being shot by live bullets which we do not deserve and i'm speaking behalf of the people of mount kenya and especially the youth of mount kenya tuache ukabila ambao tulistikiwa na mababu zetu ukabila ita tupeleka mahali popote we have to end tribalism we have to join together the ants as youth of this country and say no to impunity not to bad leadership we are saying no to impunity not to high taxation when a citizen in kisumu ananunua unga 260 ule mtu wako kiambua ananunua ule mtu wako matacos ule mtu wako malsabet ule mtu wako trukana anaumia wa kenya wengine wakiumia ndio maana mimi kama youth wa mount kenya nimetoka kuomboleza na mandugu zangu na madada zangu ambao walipigwa life bullet apparently for no reason it is painful it is painful it is so painful to see mkenya alakufa kwa sababu ya kupigania haki yake it is not something that we should even not be talking when people fought for party democracy ilileta vya mamingi watu wakakuja hapa wakapigania freedom of speech ambayo sasa hizi tunakatazwa mimi naambia wa kenya wenzangu tuungane tuache ukabila tuungane kama vijana wa kenya we have to see stop impunity in this country ukabila lazima iache ukabila lazima iache it is so painful it is so painful my dear kenyans 
when somebody amekushutiwa tu bunduki kwa sababu ya kupigania iti yake and to my party leader his excellency Raila Amolo Odinga you have fought a good fight Kenyans have seen it but party was there vya mamingi zinaundwa freedom of speech kwa hapo watu ambao walidharau sasa hizi ndio wanatukana wa Kenya na wakiwadharau devolution ilikuja watu ambao wakupigania devolution sasa hizi ndio wanaienjoy i am no i, I know hiki tu ambao tunapigania very soon ndio kitu kitasikika na wale watu ambao walikuwa naona tukiwa kwa street tunafanya kitu ambayo haipaswi najua wa hao watu wenyewe wataenda kuona ya kwamba tumepigania kikiko kwa sababu ile siku utaenda kusimama kwa duka ununue unga mia moja utatua kulikuwa na watu kama kina Brenda watu kama kina Okanga watu kama kina Omosh wakiongozwa na Raila Odinga ambao walisimama na wananchi